All right, men, we've got to decide right now if we're going to go out and venture into Poland and try and make it through the trees, the icy cold winter, or if we're going to kill the Nazis. Hmm. What do you think we should I don't do? Know if I can do that. Sergeant, well, you've got to. It's going to be it's going to be tough times. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. I think I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? What do we figure something? It's gonna be it's gonna be worth it, maybe. But we get to kill Nazis. I love I killing do. Nazis. I do love killing people. Yeah. I do. I love mm. killing. Mm. I don't wanna venture out in the cold. It's gonna be brutal winners. Brutal! Winners. Brutal! Huh. We should kill the what? Nazis! Let's Let's kill kill the Nazis! Lieutenant Thomason, come in, Lieutenant Thomason. All right, Eisenhower, I found a transmitter by the Nazis, and I'm trying to get back home to see my sweetie pie. Can it happen? Can I get on a ship? Yes, Lieutenant. We will get you and your men home ASAP. I will send the ship over right now. Over and out. This is the interview of the actor that exposed Paul Blossom and Fernando Gonzalez for fabricating a documentary, The Cavemen. This actor chooses to remain anonymous. What prompted you to tell the New York Times about the hoax? I did it because in my heart, I knew what Paul Blossom and Fernando Gonzalez did was wrong, and they needed to be exposed. Interesting. Well, what are your feelings towards the harassment and backlash Blossom and Gonzalez are now experiencing? now that they've been accused of creating a fake documentary. I couldn't care less. They deserve the punishment. Do you feel partly responsible for perpetuating a lie by agreeing to be an actor in this movie? No. I feel responsible for doing the right thing in the end. I have repressed the memory of being in the film and am beginning to believe the whole thing never happened. <laughs>